Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again, and we're going to look at game number one, the top game in our 20 from the Atari 2600 VCS series. And this was a fantastic, fantastic adventure game, and this is the sequel to Pitfall. And this was also created by David Crane and Activision. This was released in 1984, and it is Pitfall 2. Very deserving of the number one ranking, in my opinion. Fantastic, fantastic game. Long adventure game. Uh, it never leaves you bored. It has very peppy music. Really cool game. Now, notice that that mountain lion below you, and yeah, that's supposed to be a mountain lion, that's uh, that's your friend Quick Claw, and uh, you need to go the long way around to rescue him. You must also go. <coughs> excuse me. You must also rescue your niece Rhonda, and you can collect a nice ring, a diamond ring, on the way. That's worth twenty thousand points. Uh, one thing I really like about this game is that. You cannot die. <laughs> you can get touched by an enemy or run into an enemy, in which case you will be sent back to the last safe state that you touched. And the safe states, well, they're safe points, whatever. They're little brown pluses, and you walk across one, and that's where you're going to uh, go back to when you get touched by an enemy. And uh, as you go back to that save point, you will lose points. You will also lose points if you fall uh, straight down at least uh, one floor. You will uh, see the ground shake and you will lose 100 points. But there are a ton of different treasures you can collect. There are a lot of uh, screens in this game. As far as I can tell, there are eight columns of screens and 15 rows. We'll go ahead and get started. I love the music. The music is so darn peppy in this game. It will slow down after a while, but if you collect another treasure, then it'll uh, pick back up in pace. And note that the scorpion is back in this game. But it seems that the game this time around gives you maybe a little bit more distance to jump over him than in the first game because he was a pain in the butt in the first game. There are also frogs that will jump over the holes back and forth. You really need to learn the timing of the enemies in this game of their movements and how to react and avoid getting touched. There are uh, bats they bob up and down as they move around, and they will uh, come from one edge of the screen and exit and then return from the first, uh, first direction they came from. And there's a buzzard. The buzzard's a little tougher to get used to the timing. Note that that gray creature, I don't know what the hell it is, squirrel, rat, monkey, it will keep you from getting right to Quick Claw. It'll push you back, so you have to go the long way around. You cannot drown when you're in the water area, uh, but you do need to watch out for this electric eel. Yeah, any enemy that touches you, you will be sent back to a uh, save point. Little brown plus. And yeah, you'll lose you'll lose points as you go back to it. But um, just touch another save point, and you'll go back to that one instead. The game is a uh, fixed screen, unless you're going up or down. Then it'll scroll. If you go left and right, it's just one fixed screen after another. And. Uh, there's lots of gold in this game. The gold bars are 5,000 points apiece. And uh, I think it's like if you get all the treasures without losing points from 
getting touched by an enemy or falling, then you get, I think your perfect score is 199,000. You'll have to forgive my uh, froggy voice. I just, just picked up a really bad sore throat. And I'm not sure that it's a typical sore throat. I had like a, an allergy attack and I don't I don't sneeze normally. I'm like ah when I sneeze and it it's havoc on my throat and it it really really got to me. I'm I had to call in sick today from work and uh, I'm hoping it clears up. It feels better than it did today uh, earlier. Like I was saying, the bats have an up and down bobbing motion. It's fairly easy to figure out and to keep from getting touched. But the buzzards, uh, they swoop slowly upwards and downwards and you have to time it very carefully. There will be two long uh, uh, screens. Oh crap, I touched the frog. And note that the music gets a little more dour as you uh, go backwards to your uh, last save point. <clears throat> but there will be two areas where there are ladders going way the hell down. Several ladders in a row. And uh, you'll have to contend with a lot of frogs and a lot of bats in those situations. But um, they will they will lead all the way down to the water. Yeah, there are uh, eight columns and fifteen rows of screens. Uh, in between the long ladders descending, there will be an area. Uh, there will be uh, areas where you can uh, jump down to lower. Uh, lower floors and you'll drop down a long ways you cannot die from dropping down a long ways you'll just lose points you'll just lose a hundred when you thud on the ground but yeah my my stepdad had this game we're not gonna do a complete playthrough we're gonna skip forward a couple areas or so Now when you get off on a floor where there's a frog, or when, you, when you're when you climbing up a ladder and there's a frog, you'll want to get off and wait until the coast is clear and then climb up again. Now here is where you can catch a balloon. This is the left of those two uh, long drop-off shafts. Um, and the one on the right will be where you can uh, jump down to lower ledges if you're uh, positioned correctly. But yeah, the bats will uh, go off the screen and then they'll turn into uh, a balloon. Aw, oh, crap. You gotta make sure that he touches your balloon or the string and not you. But when he touches your balloon or the string, it will pop and you will drop down can't uh, run it on the wall and pop it. In the top top left, there is Rhonda, your niece, and you need to uh, rescue her. And if you collect her, she is worth 10,000 points. Now that scorpion will, will sometimes uh, patrol the holes uh, below the ladders that the, uh, that the uh, frog does. And if you're, and he follows you, if you start climbing a ladder behind him, he will turn around and come after you. And now this is the other shaft that does not have the balloons, but if you time it right, or position yourself right, you can jump off. And there is the, the ring, the gold, or the uh, diamond ring that you collect. And that is, uh, I don't know, how much is that? That's 20,000. But we'll scoot forward. Uh, this is uh, this is the far left uh, 
a column of screens in the game, in the map. And you'll want to traverse this and the one to the right, these screens, to uh, go up there and collect your friend Quick Claw. Uh, I think Quick Claw and Rhonda were both in the uh, Pitfall Saturday Supercade cartoon from the uh, early 80s, as was, of course, Pitfall Harry. I don't really remember that one that well. I remember uh, other cartoons, video game based cartoons in that series. And there's another uh, save point. You just gotta learn the timing of the buzzer, uh, mostly. He's, he's kinda difficult. Just gotta get a feel for it. The bat's easier to figure out. But the uh, buzzard will will go from one end and then turn around and fly the other way. Just learn the movements of your enemies and how to uh, keep from getting hit. That's key in this game. And uh, keep touching those save points. If you need to back off, or if you need to go off screen and start over to try to figure out their flight pattern, uh, do so. You're not timed in this game. And we're gonna just scoot forward to uh, later parts. <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna stay on the ladder just above a scorpion, he's gonna go, go back and forth be below you. It's kind of funny. Yeah, here you need to get off, wait for the frog to jump across, and then go up the ladder. There's Quick Claw. But before you collect Quick Claw, you can go pick up that rat or whatever the hell that was. And you could collect him for 15,000 points. Now go back the other way and go get Quick Claw to end the game. And you'll celebrate by jumping up and down and up and down and up and down. What a great game. I really enjoyed the hell out of this. That's Pitfall 2. Or Pitfall 2 Lost Caverns. Excuse me. Now let's, uh... Now let's look at, uh... Oh, what were we gonna look here? Uh, yeah, frying tricks. You can fry this game. And you might, uh, you might be able to start closer to the end. Can't go left. The graphics are all jumbled. Go to the right. Hey, there's Quick Claw. That's pretty easy. <laughs> you still need to get Rhonda, and you might need to get the gold ring too. But that's a good uh, that's a good start. You can go get the monkey too, if or whatever it was. Monkey, rat, squirrel. I'm not sure. This was just a, a great game. Uh, let's look at uh, another frying effect might uh, make the music all weird. Ugh. <laughs> well, yeah. Let's see if you can fry it and fry the game and uh, put it to your advantage. Now let's look at the map. Now, uh, that is the top left area of the game, and, uh, the, the shaft, uh, there's a, you know, there, there's the two, two long columns of, uh, areas you need to traverse to get right up to a quick claw. That's on the far left, and above that, of course, is where you start the game. And uh, we'll look to the right just a little bit. And uh, the long shaft on the left is where you can jump down to the lower areas if you're if you're positioned right. And uh, the long shaft on the right there is where uh, is where the bats will eventually turn into balloons, and you can take the balloons up. And uh, 
if you take the far upper left area with the balloon and let it pop on the ceiling and drop down, then uh, Rhonda will be right by there. And one of the areas you can jump down to on the left long shaft will take you to the diamond. And now here a little further right is the right side of the the map. And those are and the far right has those long, 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 long ladders that'll take you to the bottom. And uh, you can drop down into the water. And you, if you're in the water from below that, you can uh, swim up to a ladder and climb back up. And uh, we're going to look at the middle part of the map. Yeah, the far right has a long uh, series of ladders leading to the bottom, but so does the area just left of where you can get the balloons is. See all those ladders leading down? And then to the left of those ladders is that long shaft where you can jump down to uh, lower floors. Now if you don't land on a floor and you bump into the walls, you'll just be redirected back the other way. And as I said, you can't you can't die from dropping down too far. And this is back to the left side of the uh, of the map. And then looking below that, there's the water at the bottom. And there are no uh, I don't think there are any gold bars to be found in the water at the bottom. The uh, uh, waterfall that we saw early on in the game, that was way towards the top. That's that's not here. But uh, in the water down here, you have to contend with the uh, electric eel again. So yeah, the, the enemies that you'll face are bats, buzzards, frogs, scorpions, and eels. And they all have distinct movement patterns that you need to study in order to not get hit by them and send you back to the last save point. Well, that was the terrific Pitfall 2 or Pitfall 2 Lost Caverns by Activision and David Crane in 1984. My pick for game number one in my 20 from the Atari 2600 or VCS series. Well, I thank you for watching my Atari 2600 VCS series. And, uh, before much longer, I will do a different tribute series. And this will be to the Mattel Intellivision system. Uh, so I hope you join me for that. I thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good one. I'll see you for my next series. Take it easy, folks. Bye-bye.